Greetings everyone, and great here for another Age of Empires 2 Definite Edition replay. It's on the south side as the Red Incans. We have Ally Kun 0703. It's on the left side as the Blue Persian. We have Rev Zippy. We have some Eagle Scouts going around. Let's go ahead and take a look at both players' civilization bonuses. Incans, there are infantry civilizations. They start with a free llama. Villagers affected by blacksmith upgrades, starting Castle Age. Houses support 10 population, which means you can make less houses, but also means you produce less houses for walls. Unique and smoothness cost 50% less stone, which will be useful for town centers and castles. And of course, outposts, you can't forget them. Screw watchtowers. Unique units. Oh. I was not paying attention. We do have a militia rush here. It does take out one of the villagers. Let's see if the other uh, unique units can make infantry slingers, or so is that which is a uh, I think like an anti archer or anti infantry archer, I should say. It replaces like the hand can near unique text, injury sling, dandy and sling, skirmishers and slingers, no minimum range, which can be quite nice. And fabric shields, comics, slingers, and eagle warriors get plus one, plus two pierce armor, making them very resilient. Team bonus. Skirmishers and Spearmen get plus two line sight. That's nice, but nothing critical. Eagle um, Scout still scouting around. And it looks like the Militia Rush is going to just fall back. He got one villager and falling back. Okay. Persians, Cavalry Civilization. Start with plus 50 wood, wood and food. Town centers and hit uh, docks have twice the hit points. Faster work rate starting the Feudal Age. Unique uh, unit is the War Elephant. Unique text is Commandarian. New Archer line gold uh, gold cost is replaced by additional wood, so it becomes a trash unit. They only can get crossbowmen, but still trash crossbowmen? Not bad. Mahouts, elephant, War Elephants are 30% faster. And I think the... Wait, I do see another Militia Rush. It's signed by Red. Red has, or blue is going Feudal Age, red's gone for, has Feudal Age now. He may be eyeing for some uh, Mana Arms, but no, we don't see the Mana Arms upgrade just yet. Blue's forces are still a little bit wounded. May find the Eagle Scout. Red's also going for additional Spearmen, no Mana Arms upgrade, so this is going, all you can see. That's an infantry civilization. Ah, eh, never mind. I'm looking too much, thinking about it too much. I was just being pulled out, trying to wall away those militia. And blue is going for some sort of upgrade there. Oh, that's a field wage. I thought you already had it. And we have some archers and more spearmen deploying, being pulled out by red. He is an Incan player, so he has to get the spearmen for anti cavalry. And it looks like Red's uh, militia are going to get overwhelmed by blues of various forces. Is so it going to stand here and fight? And the militia does get cleaned up, just leaving the Eagle Scout. You may just want to pull, keep that Eagle Scout uh, alive in order to just do the auto scouting feature. Spearman advancing forward, trying to sway that scout. He is stopping fighting, gains a good hit there with his scout and with the Eagle Warrior. And trying to body block the Eagle Scout. No, it's actually being, the Scout still being pursued. Does receive some arrow fire now. These forces are still being pursued by these militia. Scout making his way down south and looks like going to go ahead and go straight for those archers. He sees these archers now. Scout charging for Scout has two health remaining. Does finish off the Eagle Scout there with the Scout. Very, very good. But the militia will get wiped out. Let's, blue is going doing more scouts at the moment. You may want to keep this Scout alive just to get the auto Scout feature. It's not going to be very effective in combat, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. 
do have an archer range being put out by blue now. He may be eyeing for some skirmishers for defense. A handful of houses going on up. Does also have a handful of farms here. And a bear is going to be unbearable to those archers. Does finish off the bear. Looks like these forces i'm not sure if there's an opening there it looks like they're blocked off by this tree but it's hard to say let's get some good hits there onto the villagers villagers do have what two yeah two pierce armors the archers are only going to do two damage each to those villagers we've got a handful of skirmishers now being employed on out no more additional military units for blue at the moment He's trying to maintain the minimum range with uh, against the scout uh skirmisher skirmishers are now pushing the way forward as well they do have Farman. three pierce armor, so the village of archers four damage will make it only do one damage per arrow. These archers are falling on back. There are two of them severely wounded. The other one is a little bit wounded. The other one appears to be at full health. Let's take out that spearmen as well. We do have most of those scouts are scouting around. Bit of a force recon, if, if you will. And now we're going to be hitting these various forces. Good. Let's finish off that archer. The scouts are getting walled on in. They are quite wounded, so the scout, the spearmen should be able to finish off. So the archers doing well with that as well as that. And the scouts do both go ahead and go down. Both the aggression has subsided for the time being. We've got a good defense force of skirmishers. Red is pushing forward with some more archers. Let's see what red is going for. Red is not going to, it's just going for more eagle scouts. These archers are more or less just a temporary in, uh, item until it gets a castle age. The skirmisher is getting some good damage in, but I've got good. some scouts now screaming on in. Scout cavalry trying to in disrupt the eagle scouts. Looks like Blue's going to be going ahead and build up these uh, wall segments now. Adi. Villagers are receiving a bit of fire. Do have a single scout over here. Got a good Adi. number of skirmishers in this region. Adi. Do get the plus one pierce armor. So And the plus one damage from the archers will net them no additional damage. But they do still maintain the plus additional range. And the skirmishers do not have their uh, archer damage upgrade yet either. So they don't get plus one range nor the plus one damage. Adi. Eagle Scouts do go down, and now the Red Archers will be pursued. We've got another Eagle Scout and Archer here, but do have a handful of Skirmishers as well. Red's Force will be cleaned on up. He may just want to cut off these reinforcements. Also short and forth, but they're getting quickly focused down. The skirmishers from not in proper range. They take out the spearmen there. Eagle scouts from closing the distance. We've got the, uh, Castle H now being researched by red. Blue is going for more scouts at the moment. He is saving up resources for the next age, it looks like. Eagle scouts pushing way forward. Eagle scouts do have two pierced armor, so the skirmishers three attack will only do one damage to them. The Eagle Scouts are a good counter to these skirmishers. Right now the skirmishers are missing those archers. They do get a hit there. Multiple hits there now. And the Scouts are charging forward trying to deal with these Eagle Scouts. Eagle Scouts do go down but do so do a good number of those archers.
Red's advanced of Castle H. Blue's just now started, so Red will have a very good ad tech advantage for the time being. Going for Botkin Arrow and the Crossbow upgrade. That's going to be a massive power spike to these archers. The archer, now he's getting the uh, crossbow upgrade. He's pushing forward with the archers now. Blue's streaming forward with his skirmishers. Able to find some hits there on the scouts or villagers. One villager does appear to have gone down. Okay. Okay. Arrow has been completed. Now there are six damage, six range. Now with crossbow upgrade. Now they're at seven, seven with 35 health, five extra health. So now those crossbowmen are a massive threat to Red's uh, current home. Starting to pick off some of these uh, houses, I guess. He needs to hit the palisade walls. Yeah. Getting some good damage there on the farmer. And right now, Blue has a massive villager advantage, 51 to 41. He went for a later Castle Rage, which makes sense. In fact, he doesn't have Castle Rage at the moment. And these skirmishers are getting ripped apart by the town center. He even threw a couple crossbowmen inside the town center as well. Those skirmishers, they could clean up. We do have these crossbowmen here. They could break through one of these palisades. And now Blue has gone to his own Castle Rage up and going. Crossbowmen are making their advance. So they do have more crossbows being pulled out by blue or by red. Blue is now transitioning to uh, knights, which are going to be very effective with those uh, crossbowmen. Able to close the distance, I was supposed to get some good damage in, and they're very resilient. It's a good transition. His opponent needs to pull out some more spearmen. He should be able to get out pikemen and halberdiers. Let's just take a quick look. Uh, yes, he does have tech capable of researching them. He does, of course, need the next age for our halberdier, but he should be able to get to pull out some pikemen. It's relatively a safe assumption that his opponent's going to be transitioned to knights, and now we do have five knights out in the field. Knights do currently have four pierce armor and 120 health. Cross one has seven damage, so it will take uh, three damage per arrow from a, onto a knight, and with 120 health, that will be 40 hits to take out a single knight. More knights being deployed on out. Salon. forward as these knights are skirmishing around trying to find an opening there's of course a massive opening there we got another town center being pulled out red has gone for a good number of town centers getting these villagers now it does get one of those villagers trying to interrupt this town center and going straight for these villagers he's not even worried about the, even the archers engaging them point blank range but he will go ahead and take out every single one of those villagers does lose a large number of knights but does deny the town center Red blue so has a massive villager advantage. I'm not sure how many talents he has mode. Probably at least two since they see two villagers queued up. Now a Maganel being pulled out by blue, very nice, which we should be very effective versus those archers as well as the knights. And now the crossbowmen will advance and forth, they do have the high ground, the knights are going to close on in, Maganel is still way back here, knights getting some great damage on those crossbowmen, just going to focus on microing his knights. We have a monk here deployed out by the Incan player. Does claim himself a knight as well. Now the Incan has a cavalryman. That's trying to rebuild this house there. Maganel could fire around there. He may not hold fire stance. 
gonna try and he is gonna build that house there or villager does avoid the archer fire this wall here provided by the woods Maybe going down real soon because it's true. Maybe even a hole right there. So it's probably cutting it a little bit close. I'm not sure. Oh, there's the comic going on. Knight starting to slash up that blacksmith. It's going to fall back there. Village is migrating over to another wood line. And now you have these knights advance forward. There's 11 knights there. So there's a good Body. number of knights. Over here, there's 27 crossbowmen with two monks. The monks could take time to heal up this stuff. And uh, Maganel finds a shot there, but rolls a pretty big miss. Rolls another miss there, but does force back these archers. Archers won't be taking time to throw arrows into a stable. The stable's health is quite stable at the moment, so it doesn't worry about it going down. Now the knights are advancing forward, trying to gauge these town centers, maybe trying to get the villagers around. Of course, with the monk there. He does get the convert there as well. Villager does go down. Two villagers do go down. Red has 68 villagers. Supposed to just his bonus 93. He does get another convert there. Very nice. And we do have another town center being pulled on now. Red is trying to transition to a big villager production, but is having trouble with it. these knights are severely wounded. The other three healthy ones could stop and engage. And I do hear uh, another conversion right though there. It could be over here. Trying to miss the monk there with the Maganel. He's trying to try to convert the Maganel. He does get the hit there on the monk. He may have held to use hold fire stance there. convert a unit they will maintain like the combat sense if you use hold fire or hold ground stance on your units as they're getting converted they'll just simply stop there and not automatically attack looks like blue's going for another maganel more knights being produced and these red villagers are getting hit once again More additional crossbows advancing forward, trying to get some good hits there on these knights. It's getting some good kills there. I'm not sure what this house is going to accomplish. While these villagers are going down, the knights are being cleaned up now. Over here, we've got a massive engagement. Knights closed in on top of those crossbowmen. They need to stutter step a little bit better. And though the knights' uh, engagement is not going out too well either. Well, we have a convert. Let's get a convert there as well, but it was a low health one. The monk does go ahead and go on down. Doesn't target any of the low health ones, hit the high health one on the retreat. Now do have looks like four Maganels on the field. That's quite a bit. Great hits there on those crossbowmen. Gave some deadly hits there. Monk does get the convert off in time on a full health knight, able to skirmish to get some good hit damage in. What of all these crossbows are going down, and it looks like the red has surrendered. This is Anne Grace, and thank you for watching, and on to the next replay.